Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point HACCP System The process for the development and implementation of HACCP System and application of seven principles. Assemble HACCP Team and identify scope. Describe product. Identify intended use and users. Construct flow diagram. On-site confirmation of flow diagram. List all potential hazards that are likely to occur and associated with each step. Conduct a hazard analysis to identify the significant hazards and consider any measures to control identify ha identified hazards. Principle 1. Determine the critical control points. Principle 2. Establish validated critical limits for each CCP. Principle 3. Establish a monitoring system for each CCP. Principle 4. Establish corrective actions. Principle 5. Validation of the HACCP plan and verification procedures, Principle 6. Establish documentation and record keeping, Principle 7. Scope of HACCP. Who is this code for? Or in simple word, the target audience. Well, businesses throughout the food chain, including production, processing, manufacturing, preparation, packaging, storage, uh, distribution, retail, food service operation, and transportation of food. Like the air we breathe and the water we drink, food is essential to our well-being. Whether we are hunter-gatherers, small farmers, or supermarket consumers, our sense of security depends on safe, high-quality food. Since the beginnings of agriculture, people grew their own food, or knew who grew it. This bond between producer and consumer helped to ensure food quality and safety. International trade in food has grown over thousands of years. Today, an abundance and variety of food never before possible travels the globe. But how can we be sure our food is safe and of good quality? One answer is Codex Alimentarius, Latin for food law, a collection of rigorously defined standards to ensure safe, high quality food. Codex benefits everybody in the food chain, especially consumers by protecting them from foodborne hazards. And producers by increasing access to international markets. When you're having something to eat or drink, do you ever wonder about the long road from farm or factory to your kitchen? Millions of people fall ill and even die after eating unsafe food. So to ensure the safety of food along global supply chains, global standards are needed. ISO's food standards benefit producers and manufacturers, regulators and retailers, and most important of all, you and me, the consumers. International standards, for example ISO 22000, if implemented in uh, letter and spirit, the return on investment is quite high and guaranteed. So the benefits are numerous, for example, uh, mapping out the needs and expectations of the key st uh, stakeholders, uh, then the documentation tailored to fit the context of a business, uh, then compliance with, with the regulatory requirements, uh, risk management in food safety processes in a more systematic way. Fulfillment of uh, contractual requirements, uh, that is tender uh, and our business uh, bidding process. Systematic development of uh, skills of the staff. Effective communication, uh, both internal and external. Consistency through standardization of uh, operational processes. Traceability through monitoring and measurement. And uh, then the continual improvement, <coughs> which is part and parcel of uh, almost every international standard through various ways, for example, through analysis and uh, evaluation of data collected uh, on, on a day-to-day -day basis, week by week, month by, by month, and then setting objectives and targets and uh, doing the action planning, and then taking corrective actions, uh, and then the awareness and training, 
and last but not least effective auditing and effective management reviews. Food Safety System Certification abbreviated as FSSC 22000. FSSC 22000 is a certification scheme for auditing and certification of food safety management system owned by a legal entity under Dutch law called the Foundation FSSC 22000. There are three required components for this scheme as follows. ISO 22000-2018 Food Safety Management Systems requirement for any organization in the food chain. Sector specific prerequisite programs abbreviated as PRPs for example ISO technical standards. FSSC 22000 requirements additional. For more information, please visit our website www.becnt.com to download guidance documents and templates.